Welcome to the Brain Booster Podcast. Today, we will be discussing Germany, a country known for its rich history, culture and its vibrant economy. We will be exploring the country's political system, its people, and its famous landmarks. We will also discuss the current events happening in the country. The capital of Germany is Berlin, one of the most iconic and historically significant cities in Europe. We encourage you to stay with us for the duration of the podcast, as we dive deeper into the fascinating world of Germany. Germany has a long and complex history that dates back to ancient times. The region that is now Germany was first settled by Germanic tribes in the 1st century BC. In the Middle Ages, the area was ruled by a series of powerful kingdoms and duchies. The Holy Roman Empire, which was centered in present-day Germany, was one of the most significant political entities in Europe during the Middle Ages. However, it was dissolved in 1806 by Napoleon Bonaparte. Germany as a country was formed in 1871, when the German Empire was established. The country experienced rapid industrialization and economic growth during this period, becoming one of the world's leading industrial powers. However, the country's aggressive expansionist policies ultimately led to its involvement in World War I. In the 1920s and 1930s, Germany was plagued by economic problems and political turmoil. The rise of the Nazi Party under the leadership of Adolf Hitler ultimately led to the devastation of World War II and the Holocaust. In 1945, Germany was divided into two separate states, the Federal Republic of Germany, West Germany, and the German Democratic Republic, East Germany. The fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989 and the reunification of Germany in 1990 marked the end of the Cold War and the start of a new era for the country. Today, Germany is one of the most powerful and influential countries in the world, known for its strong economy, political stability and contributions to culture and science. Key figures throughout German history include Charlemagne, Otto von Bismarck, Adolf Hitler, Konrad Adenauer, Angela Merkel and Olaf Scholz. In this episode, we will be discussing the culture and society of Germany. We will delve into the traditional festivals and celebrations, the famous cuisine, the art and architecture and the impact of the country's diverse population on its culture. We will also explore the customs, traditions and way of life in Germany, and how they reflect the country's rich cultural heritage. We will be covering a wide range of topics, providing a comprehensive overview of the culture and society of Germany. So, stay tuned to learn more about this fascinating country. One of the most famous traditional festivals in Germany is Oktoberfest, which is held annually in Munich. This festival, also known as the Wiesen, is a celebration of Bavarian culture and features traditional German music, food, and beer. The festival is typically held in late September and lasts for 16 days, ending on the first Sunday of October. Visitors from all over the world come to Munich to experience the lively atmosphere and participate in traditional activities such as the chicken dance and the beer stein holding contest. Another well-known traditional festival in Germany is Carnival, also known as Fasching or Fasnacht. This celebration takes place in the weeks leading up to Ash Wednesday and is characterized by colorful parades, costumes, and parties. Each region of Germany has its own unique way of celebrating Carnival, but it is most famously celebrated in the cities of Cologne, Mainz, and Dusseldorf. Christmas markets are also a popular tradition in Germany. These markets are typically held in town squares and feature traditional German food and drinks, as well as handmade gifts and decorations. Visitors can also enjoy the festive atmosphere created by the lights, music and the aroma of gingerbread and mulled wine. These markets are not only an opportunity to do some Christmas shopping but also a great way to experience the German culture during the holiday season. Oktoberfest, Carnival and Christmas markets are just a few examples of the traditional festivals and celebrations in Germany that reflect the country's rich culture and heritage. These celebrations not only provide entertainment and fun but also an opportunity to experience the traditional customs and traditions of Germany. German cuisine is known for its hearty and comforting dishes that have been influenced by the country's history and geography. 
The traditional German diet is characterized by the use of ingredients such as potatoes, sausages, and sauerkraut, which have played a significant role in the country's culture and society. One of the most popular traditional dishes in Germany is sausages, or worst in German. The country boasts a wide variety of sausages, each with its own unique flavor and texture. The most well-known varieties include the bratwurst, a grilled pork sausage, and the frankfurter, a smoked beef or pork sausage. Sausages are often served with mustard and a side of sauerkraut, a traditional German dish made from fermented cabbage. Another staple in German cuisine is potatoes, or kartoffeln in German. Potatoes are often served as a side dish, but can also be the main ingredient in traditional dishes such as kartoffel puffer, potato pancakes, or kartoffel salat, potato salad. Potatoes have played an important role in German society as a versatile and affordable source of nutrition for centuries. Sauerkraut is also an important part of German cuisine. It is often served as a side dish or as an ingredient in traditional dishes such as Schweinschachs, pork knuckle, or Rindfleisch, beef, in sauerkraut. Fermented foods like sauerkraut are not only delicious but also nutritious and easy to preserve. German cuisine is characterized by its hearty and comforting dishes that reflect the country's history and geography. Sausages, sauerkraut, and potatoes are some of the most popular traditional dishes in Germany, and they have played a significant role in German society as a source of nutrition and cultural identity. German cuisine is not only delicious but also an important part of German culture. Germany has a rich and diverse cultural heritage that has had a profound influence on the country's art, literature, music, and architecture. From the stunning works of the old masters to the avant-garde movements of the 20th century, German art has always been at the forefront of creativity and innovation. One of the most famous museums in Germany is the Berlin Museum Island, which is a group of five world-renowned museums located on an island in the River Spree. The island is home to some of the most important collections of art, artifacts, and historical objects in the world, including the Pergamon Museum, which houses the famous Ishtar Gate of Babylon, and the Elti National Gallery, which features works by famous German artists such as Caspar David Friedrich and Adolf Menzel. Germany is also renowned for its architectural heritage. Landmarks such as the Brandenburg Gate, the Berliner Dom and the Neuschwanstein Castle are iconic symbols of German history and culture. The Brandenburg Gate, for example, is one of the most famous landmarks in Germany and serves as a symbol of the country's reunification. Germany is also a country of music lovers, and it has produced some of the world's most renowned composers, such as Bach, Beethoven and Brahms. The Berlin Philharmonic, located in the heart of the city, is considered one of the best orchestras in the world, and its concert hall is a symbol of German music and culture. Additionally, the country has a rich tradition of choral music, and many towns and cities host their own choir festivals. In addition, German literature has a long and rich history that has been shaped by the country's cultural, political, and social developments. German writers such as Goethe, Schiller, and Kafka are considered among the most important literary figures of all time. Germany's population is incredibly diverse, with people from all over the world making it their home. This diversity is the result of a complex history of immigration, which has had a significant impact on the country's culture. The history of immigration in Germany can be traced back to the post-World War II period when the country faced a shortage of labor and invited guest workers from Turkey and other countries to fill the gap. This was followed by waves of immigrants from the former Yugoslavia and other countries in the 1990s and 2000s. Multiculturalism in Germany has brought many opportunities and enrichment to the country's culture. It has led to the growth of diverse communities and the development of a more tolerant and open society. The different cultures and traditions have also led to the creation of a unique and vibrant cultural scene, featuring art, music, and cuisine from around the world. However, multiculturalism in Germany has also brought challenges, particularly in terms of integration and cultural differences. Many immigrants and their descendants have faced difficulties in integrating into German society, particularly those who are not fluent in the German language or who come from different cultural backgrounds. Furthermore, 
there have been ongoing debates about how to promote integration and cultural diversity while preserving Germany's national identity. Current issues related to integration and diversity in Germany include the integration of immigrants into the labor market and the education system, as well as the management of cultural differences and the balance of rights and responsibilities between immigrants and minorities and the majority population. Germany's diverse population has had a significant impact on the country's culture and society. The history of immigration has led to the creation of a multicultural society which has brought both opportunities and challenges. Addressing these challenges and opportunities is an ongoing process, and it is important for society to continue the dialogue and work towards a more inclusive and tolerant society. Germany has a federal parliamentary constitutional republic system of government. The president, currently Frank-Walter Steinmeier, is the head of state, while the chancellor, currently Olaf Scholz, is the head of government. The German parliament, the Bundestag, is made up of members elected in national elections held every four years. The chancellor is elected by the Bundestag, and the president is elected by a special body called the Federal Convention. The political system of Germany is a multi-party system with two major parties, the Christian Democratic Union CDU, and the Social Democratic Party of Germany SPD, which are the most popular. However, there are also several other parties, such as the Free Democratic Party FDP, the Left Party Die Link, and the Alternative for Germany AFD, which have representation in the Bundestag. Germany is also a founding member of the European Union, and it is one of the most influential countries in the EU. Germany's role in the EU has included leading efforts to promote economic integration and stability, as well as playing a key role in shaping the EU's foreign and security policies. Currently, some of the main issues and events affecting Germany include the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic and its economic and social impact, the refugee crisis, and the rise of right-wing populism. The country is also dealing with issues related to climate change and energy transition. Germany has one of the largest and most advanced economies in the world. The country is known for its strong manufacturing sector, which is the backbone of its economy. The major industries in Germany include automobile manufacturing, machinery, chemicals, and electrical engineering. Companies such as Volkswagen, Siemens, and Bayer are some of the most prominent industries in the country. The German economy is highly export-oriented and is the world's largest exporter of goods. Germany's main trading partners include other EU countries, particularly France, the Netherlands, and Italy, as well as the United States and China. Germany's economic strengths include its highly skilled workforce, its efficient infrastructure, and its stable political and legal system. The country's economy is also characterized by a high degree of innovation and a well-developed research and development sector. However, the German economy also faces some challenges. One of the main challenges is the demographic change, as the population is aging and the number of people of working age is decreasing. Another challenge is the ongoing digitalization and the shift of the economy towards the service sector, which has caused structural changes in the labor market. In recent years, Germany has also been faced with some challenges in the form of trade tensions and uncertainty due to the ongoing Brexit process and trade conflicts with the United States. Despite these challenges, the German economy remains strong and resilient, and it is expected to continue to be a major player in the global economy in the future. Germany is a country with a rich cultural heritage and a diverse society, a strong economy and political stability. It is one of the most powerful and influential countries in the world, known for its contributions to culture and science. Despite some challenges, such as demographic change and the shift of the economy towards the service sector, the German economy remains strong and resilient, and it is expected to continue to be a major player in the global economy in the future. Germany is a great country to visit and learn more about, its history, culture, and architecture are unique and fascinating. From the iconic Brandenburg Gate in Berlin to the picturesque castles along the Rhine River, there's something for everyone. German people are also known for their hospitality, warm and friendly culture. Next time you get a chance don't hesitate to visit Germany and experience it for yourself.
Germany is a popular tourist destination known for its rich history, culture, and beautiful landscapes. One of the most popular tourist destinations in Germany is the city of Berlin. The capital of Germany is known for its vibrant nightlife, world-class museums, and historical sites such as the Berlin Wall and Brandenburg Gate. Visitors can also take a tour of the Reichstag building and enjoy a panoramic view of the city from its glass dome. Another popular destination in Germany is the city of Munich, located in the southern part of the country. Munich is famous for its beer gardens, traditional Bavarian culture, and the famous Oktoberfest. Visitors can also tour the impressive Nymphenburg Palace and take a stroll through the beautiful Englischer Garten Park. Germany is also home to many picturesque towns and villages, such as the charming town of Rothenburg ob der Tauber. This medieval town is known for its well-preserved architecture and beautiful cobblestone streets. Germany is also home to many beautiful natural landscapes. The Black Forest, located in the southwestern part of the country, is a popular destination for hiking and skiing. The Bavarian Alps, located in the southern part of the country, offer spectacular views and opportunities for outdoor activities such as skiing, hiking, and climbing. Germany also offers a rich cultural experience. Visitors can take a tour of the famous castles of Neuschwanstein and Hohenschwanga, both located in the southern part of the country, which served as inspiration for Walt Disney's fairy tale castles. Visitors can also enjoy the many museums and galleries that feature works by famous German artists such as Albrecht Dürer and Caspar David Friedrich. Germany is a country that offers something for everyone. From its rich history and culture, to its beautiful landscapes and outdoor activities, it's no wonder that Germany is a popular tourist destination. In this podcast, we have explored the history, culture, politics, society, and economy of Germany. We have discussed the country's formation as a country, significant historical events, and key figures. We also explored the culture and society of Germany, including its customs, traditions, and way of life. We discussed the country's diverse population and its impact on the country's culture. We also discussed the political system of Germany, its role in the European Union, key political figures, and parties, as well as current issues and events affecting the country. Finally, we discussed the economy of Germany, including its major industries and trade partners, and explored the country's economic strengths and challenges. We would like to thank you for staying with us for the duration of the podcast, and we hope you found it informative and interesting. If you enjoyed this podcast, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel for more informative and engaging content, and don't forget to check out our other podcasts.